Hi everybody, welcome, I'm Dan's Gaming, and today we're going to be playing the new Pokemon Snap, which just came out on the Switch. Um, it's a game where you take pictures of Pokemon and observe their in their habitat. And I like the original one on, uh, on uh, Nintendo 64, back in the day. Um, okay, who do I want to be? Well, there's no chubby bald man, so I'm going to have to pick this guy, I guess. I am dead. Yes. <gasps> Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences. New Pokemon Snap. I hope this has a lot of the original Pokemon, because I don't know the new ones. What is that? I want to need uh, Kevin to translate what the Pokemon are for me. Hi there, I'm glad you made it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. They had a voiceover setting, I thought it would be, it'd be fully voices, like, hell yeah. But apparently just there's a, hey, and that, that's all they voiced. They, they, they bring someone into the studio, they're like, okay, I'm gonna do a long recording session for this game. All right, now say hey. Hey, done, okay, you can go home now. I threw, I flew three, eight hours here. My name is Mirror. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, so. Yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the Lintel region. <laughs> no one's ever done an ec ecological survey like this before. Huh? No one, are you forgetting a certain explorer in the Nintendo 64 era? Oops, good point. You read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? But... But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. Uh, this is Rita. Uh, her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while, she, uh, while her school's on break. I'm not here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, that's right, and I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in the program, why don't we step into the lab and get settled? Yep. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Now. All right, allow me to explain. The lentil region is absolutely teeming with lentils. I mean, Pokemon. Photo photographing those Pokemon help us learn more about them and their ecosystem. What is that thing walking back there? And what game is that from? Uh, photographing those Pokemon help us learn more about them and their ecosystem. Mm. And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way. All right. At night, you might even get, get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Oh, that is fancy. <laughs> I've got the same one. We use it to communicate with each other and rest, uh, and the rest of the team too. That's right. It's more than just a uh, a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Also serve a sort of ID badge for you here, so take good care of it. Bling! It's like flat and also extends out. What do you think? Awesome, right? <laughs> professor invented it. Professor. Uh, can I uh, explain how to use it, Professor? Anyway. 
Sure thing, Rita. Assist the way. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go outside. The tutorials are based on the de default button layouts. Let's see. <laughs> Perfect timing. Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press the A button to take a photo. Actual voice? Whoa. I'm gonna wait for him to fly in the middle of the screen again. Yes, it's going. Got him. Now why don't you try moving the camera to line up your shot? See that circle in the center of your viewfinder? Yeah. That's called the pointer. Okay. If you use the left stick to move the pointer around, the camera will move to follow it. Give it a try. Oh, that's uh. All right. You can point the camera up and down and even spin all the way around left or right. Well, that's cool. You can use motion controls to aim your camera, too. Never. Oh, look! Here comes Pikachu! <gasps> Try getting a shot of that Pikachu! First, move the pointer so it's lined up with Pikachu. Did you see that shape appear around Pikachu just now? Yeah. Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. It'll be important when the professor's evaluating your photos. I'm playing this on a pro controller. So I'm not doing the motion control stuff. Try snapping a photo. All right. That's it. Great job. But since Pikachu's a little far away, it looks kind of small, huh? Yeah. Times like this call for zooming in. That's always my excuse. You're just far away. That's why it seems so small. <laughs> to zoom in, just hold the ZL button. You'll stay zoomed in until you let go. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. <laughs> oh. Okay. Great! See how much bigger it looked that time? Yeah, I just gotta zoom. Okay. Hey, Professor! You've covered the basics! Mm -hmm. Hello. How was that? I hope you're uh, getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all. Do you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. My scoring system. Try selecting the Pikachu fold. Oh, they have folders for each one. That's cool. Oh my god, it's so blur. It's so blurry. Ugh. Uh, you can choose the photo with the left and right uh, moving the pointer. You decide which one to show me. Oh my god, is it supposed to be that blurry? It's like it's taking on a Game Boy uh, Advanced. Uh, show the professor your shots when you're ready. Start phone number one. Okay, they look they 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 look normal, but man, the the previews are like really pixelated. Uh, one star. Oh, each uh, photo from one to four stars. <laughs> Come up with a system that helps understand. It categorize how Pokemon behave. The photos of Pokemon in ordinary state gain fewer uh, stars. Or usual state gain more stars. Simple enough, right? To be clear, number of uh, star photos. Uh, picture seat to the affected score. Each category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That helps me categorize your photos. Let's, uh, I'll buy with subjects pose. Snapping your photo just for a moment is key to getting high po pose score. Now on other factors. The size is the straightforward. Larger your subject gets, the Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. This is the direction Pokemon is facing. Uh, try to get it facing uh, you and your photos. 
Next is placement. Try to get the uh, Pokemon in the center of the frame a nice for a nice balanced photo. And finally, get points for other Pokemon or in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now, I know that was a lot of information at once. I'll only boil it down. Remember this, and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame and then snap the shutter. That in mind, here's your evaluation. Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. Yes, I've uh, taken pictures of Pokemans before. Pavilion. A new discovery. Nice pavilion, nice new addition. I see it's in flight. Nice guns. This isn't a bad shot at all. Getting a whole size Poke friend looking nice uh, and big is good size score. What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own po Pokemon photo decks. That would be a great milestone to work towards. All right. Now that belt does it, I think it's time to set off on your adventure. Now that. That should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your uh, photo photography Bye -bye. expeditions. It's called Neo One. It's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on not long ago with a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes us uh, use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Jeez. Come on, fast details can wait. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera onto the console. Good luck. Oh. Enjoy your first photo expedition. Oh, he does speak. You think they'd at least voice the tutorial, you know? Asmodee, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Oh, it looks like this might run at 60. Okay, never mind. We're dead for a second. That's the entrance to Florio Nature Park. The Neo One will automatically follow a set route. Oh, hey, buddies! You can just focus on looking around and taking photos. Oh, it's Dod Dodrio. Dun, dun, dun. It's uh, Grookey again. <gasps> Boof Elephant. Or Boof Elephant. I don't know what. There's so many of these Pokemon, I don't know what they are. Don't forget to look behind you. That's what the rogue said. Ah, he's a cutie. I'm just gonna take pictures of all of them. Wurmple. <gasps> what is that guy? Emolga? God, they've added so many Pokemon that I, that I don't know. Rumple again. Whoa, what was that? There's something flew by me. Crystal Bloom? That's something new. Magikarp! Swana? Talo? Swana is gorgeous. Hold on. He's got to turn. He's got to turn. She's got to turn. She's got to turn. She's got... No, the other way! Come on, turn. Turn, madam. Ah, it's close. Ah, bad one. Strike a pose, please. Anything behind me? No. <gasps> There's a few Swanas there. Oh, they're so cute. <gasps> what is that guy? 
Hoota, hoot hoot. That's his butt, though. I want to get this magic heart real fast. Once he's in line of sight. Poor magic carp. Oh, they did him wrong. They did him dirty in this one. He's just splashing around. Look at me. Look at me. Hey! Hey! He's a little small. If I can get, get him big. That's a good one. What are those? They're like twirly comfrey. I have never heard of these Pokemans. Hold on. What is that thing? Where is its face? <laughs> I don't even know. Wait, what is that? That symbol marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. <gasps> it's the end. Basically, it's the end of the course. Oh, she looks great there. When you get back, I'll take a look at your photo. I got a great photo for her. Of her. I know Gen 1 and most of Gen 2, but everything after that I haven't played, so I don't really remember. I don't have them memorized. I recognize some of them. Uh, go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. Every generation has their good designs and many bad ones too, so... That's a terrible Grookey photo. Dodrio, the only one I got. Boofernet, Big Doof, Wurmple. That's probably my best one. They're all meh. Emolga, Florges, <laughs> no, uh, Florges, Florges. Well, that's probably the best one I got. That one's very... That one should be good. Swana. I'm gonna try that one. Magic... Poor Magikarp. <laughs> Whatever the hell that thing is. Um... Crystal Bloom. All right, show the professor. Ah, uh, Wurmple. I forgot that one. All right, there we go. Here we go. All right. Let's take have a look. Vermilion. It's in flight. Nice work. Ooh. Much better. A gold star. That's good. Grookey. A new discovery. You got Grookey. Uh, a new addition to our research. That was my starter in shield. Uh, it's Pokemon Sword. Two stars. Ooh. Wait, two platinum stars. A new discovery. Dodrio. Nice work. Another platinum star. Ooh. This one's gonna be bad. It's too far away. Too far away. Silver Star. That's a cute one. A new discovery. Nice work. 
One star, though. Gold star. Rumple. A new discovery. Nice work. Thirty-six hundred. Not bad. Mulga. Discovery. Nice work. Not bad. Dun, dun. A new discovery. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect timing. Pose size. Platinum star. Ooh. Very nice. Halo. A new discovery. Nice work. Gold star. Dun, 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 dun. A new discovery. Nice work. Silver. This is too far away. Poor magic carp. A new discovery. Nice work. Oh, magic carp. Come free. A new discovery. Nice work. Bump. Now they don't know there's a bad shot. It'd be nice so they can't tell a lot. Yeah, we already know what uh, the tips are. Make them face the camera, have more than one Pokemon in there. How was it? Etc. Oh, there's research level. Anyway. One last thing, let me tell you about the, our research levels. The research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all your types of Pokemon behaviors. Mm -hmm. uh, this means uh, getting photographs of them in every category from one star to four stars. So. Short fill up that poke photo decks. Keep in mind and you'll be uh, right on track. So let's get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish these encounters Pokemon you have along the way. Level up! Oh. Look at that, you hit new stage of research. Keep an eye out for changes no matter how small. You've got a research title, Photo Program Newbie. You researched the park for the first time. Look this way, you scored a thousand points more in direction category. Uh, placement category, smack dab in the middle. You can choose uh, saving your photo with your space and lab. Make sure you resnap them before you change them. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, good thing they made it quick. Unlike Animal Crossing, you can do things more than one at a time. That's always nice. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, return to camp. There's no battle. You just take. It's about taking photographs. It's like a safari game where you go and you're taking pictures of animals in the wild, but instead of being wild animals, it's Pokemon. And that's not going to appeal to everyone, but I find it fun. Now that that covers just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot afterwards? Not yet, uh, but soon after a little more practice. Also, by the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. I'll say more about uh, that when you stop by the lab. Anyway, why don't you let let me keep? Well, don't let me keep you learning. Have a good time and snap some photos. <laughs> All right, let's see. Research lab settings. Change various settings. Okay, a settings menu. Duh. Frequency of the communication request on during your research trips. We'll do uh, sometimes. A little faster is probably good. <laughs> Frame guide. Normal. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Undiscovered subjects roots. Alright, right, let's go another one. Ah. 
Um, imagine that you are on like a Jeep and the Jeep driver is driving you around Safari and you can take photos as he's driving. That's, that's about what, it's, what it is in this. Now. Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearly nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Hey, so... Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. So... Well, basically, um, anything that makes the system go. Check this out! Yeah. Well, I guess it's all details we're gonna get. Yep. You'll get the hang of it once you try, Rita. Would you mind demonstrating? Yeah. Do it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Running a scan is easy. All you gotta do is press the X button. Try it out! You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? Yeah. And, did you also notice that question mark? Mm-hmm. That tells you there's something you can take a closer look at. First, move the pointer over the question mark. Mm-hmm. Did you see the pointer change shape? That's your cue to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever's there. Give it a try. Okay. There. Now you should see the results. Come to think of it, I heard that a friend of the professor came up with the name Neil One. Well, pretty easy, right? When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. Okay. Also, way to like make them look at you. The professor calls it an accidental speed cheese feature. <laughs> anyway, that ought to cover everything. <laughs> professor. <laughs> Thank you. So once I run the scan, I'll tell you about a lot of your surroundings. Try taking lots of photos of Pokemon at the nature park during the day. Here. Here on Fuller Island, people work to protect nature and live together with Pokemon. All right, let's go. Uh, all Japanese games tend to have heavy tutorials in the beginning. And then they let you free and do whichever you want, but usually they like to make sure you know how to play. Oh, they changed. Look at this. Hi, boys. Oh. I missed it. Hello. Hey, pick it. Pick Pikachu. Well, like, at least I got a photo of him. I know, I'm trying. What? He just... Oh, what is that? Some charred fruit on the ground. Did Pokemon do this? Wait, charred fruit? As in, whoa, what? I missed him. Oh, I missed that guy. Damn. 
So it looks like they do the same thing every time. We just got to like time it perfectly. Bum, 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 bum. That's a per uh oh, hello. No, sir. Look at me. Oh, my God, they're so cute. Fruit goes in lentil, ten growth, love them. What the fuck? <laughs> He's so big. He was massive. What is there to skit? Oh, oh. Hoot to have a usual way of sleeping always on one foot. Sir, hello. Look at me. Of the chorus, I know. Look over here, ma'am. Ma'am, look at me. Ma'am, you gotta look. What was she doing? Oh my god, he looks so cute. <laughs> yeah, the course changed from the first time. Every time you complete research, you uh, get the root changes a bit. Oh. You look hungry to take more photos. Damn right. That's my best one. Okay. Oh my god, that one's so cute though. Three stars. Ooh. Right, show the professor. Now that. Mm. That's a three-star photo. That's new. Nice work. Looks curious. Wonder what about. Nice going. It's a bad shot at all. Platinum. Ooh. Direction could be better. Watch out for when it looks right at the camera. I, I tried. It wouldn't look at the camera. That's a terrible photo. Yeah, I know. It's barely. It wasn't even looking. Nice work. Dun, 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 dun. That new photo looks so nice. The lighting is great. Nice work. Well, it seems calm. Nice work. Keep it up. Ooh. The Pokemon photo came out nice and big. Well done. That's like a really, really good photo, though. That's cute. That is adorable. 5,000, I know. That's a record. A tan growth. New addition to our research. Nice work. Oh, 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 oh. Almost platinum. Just need a little bit more score. Um, you ride in a car that moves on its own. That's how you get pictures in this game. Nice work. Uh, I like this one better, even though it doesn't look as it's not as high as score. 
The other photo's just bad. Expedition points? Mm -hmm. 13,000. Photos get better and better. I'll make sure our research keeps up with your progress. Best shot, 5,000 or more of a photo. 500 uh, other Pokemon category to photo evaluation. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away, I think. You'll be pleased to hear this. I want to save... That bit of photo is very good. I like it. It's my favorite photo so far. What's this game about? It's about $60. Hello. <laughs> your photography seems to be going very well. Anyway. I think you're ready for a nighttime visit to Floro Nature Park. <gasps> nighttime. Ooh. Here's the thing. Hopefully you'll get to see one of Wenzel's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomena. Speaking of... You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Yeah, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step towards my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon, uh, sp Pokemon spoken in the legends of Lintel. Wow. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? Thought they were made up. No. No, they're very much real. You've seen photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? What? Uh, you can barely tell. Uh, what's in those photos and they're ancient anyways literally 100 years old all right now right for now uh enjoy your nighttime outing the illuminati pokemon can i take photos in this mode no let's see what happens. she said she was gonna tell me something to go back in the lab this is the professor's lab. Oh. Now that it's your first time here, of course. Not that it's first time. This is where the professor does research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he pretty much lives here. All right. I don't know. Let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. Excuse me. That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First. First, you can check your photo decks. This is the uh, encyclopedic record you're building with the photos you're taking. <laughs> Isn't it cool uh, getting to put together your very own photo decks? Then. Then there's your space. That's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. By the way. The album is for photos you want to keep and not put in your photo decks. <laughs> you can edit your photo al al album photos in some cool ways too. Wow. Am I forgetting anything? Was there anything else I was supposed to mention? Also. Did you cover all we can do on the internet? Oh. Oh yeah, that was it. If you use the online internet feature, you can see photos from players all around the world. If you're really, if you really like a photo, but you can tell the photographer, nice job giving the photo a little digital medal. <laughs> They're called sweet medals. Give uh, all you want, people love getting them. Agreed. Uh, that's right. You can also see the photographer's rankings in each score ca <gasps> category. Okay. All right, I think that's everything. I'm sure, you'll figure it out uh, real quick. All right. Don't be shy. Try everything out. Your space. Instead of my space, it's your space. Research titles. Check out. Best shot. Oh, these are just like achievements. They're not like titles you equip. Yep. 
All right, let's go back and do another nighttime mission. You know, at night I'm able to see the lumina, uh, lumina phenomenon at the nature park. Zip your surroundings carefully. Temper Island, where humans, Pokemon, live, gun, harmony. There is a. You might get to see a whole new side of Pokemon at Hey, buddy! Watch the differences in their behavior. Oh my god, that was a great photo. On accident. Oh, they're sleeping. That's cute. I know, I need score, bunny. He's behind, he's behind him. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, he moved just that, just too, a bit too soon. Ooh, hello. Caterpie. Does that thing have a witch hat on? Oh no, they're not looking at me. Crystal Bloom. Oh, <gasps> pincer. Pincer, come up here, buddy. Oh my god! Yes! Oh yeah, got me a pincer. Oh my god, these guys. Torterra's massive. And sleeping. Sleeping with their babies. <gasps> Pidgeot! You gotta turn around, buddy. No! Sir! Pidgeot is massive. I didn't actually get a photo. I just scanned. Oops. I definitely increased the speed. It's too slow. Okay, we need to... Up the Kerba a couple notches. Well, that's a good one. Oh my god! All of them sleeping together. Oh, it's adorable. Oh my god, who t Pincer! Come here, buddy! Ah, uh, darn. Hoot hoot! Combi? Score bunny again was over there. Where is the thing to scan? Oh my god, no! Ah, it's just off center! Ah! Hey, do you copy? We just picked up a huge energy reading near you! The professor's busy trying to make sense of the data. Let's ask him about it when you get back. Huge energy signature. No! Yeah, you just take pictures. Imagine like you're, like I said before, imagine you're like on a safari in the Sahara and you're like riding a Jeep and you're just taking pictures from your car right, of stuff. We've got a lot of discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. That one's the three star one. 
Aww, that's adorable. That one's meh. That one's probably a little better. Surprise he's cut off. Three star. Just slightly off center. Let's do this. Uh, this has a lot more features on top of what the original one had, so they expanded the game quite a bit. This is pretty fun. Nice work. Score bunny. That might be a platinum. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice work. Nope. I want to keep that one. A new discovery. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, you want to have one star photos, uh, two star, three star, and four star for this. So you don't just want the best. You also want to get the lower ones too. actually not a bad photo. Great timing. Platinum. A new discovery. Great timing. Well, that's like the same photo for all those guys. Nice work. Three three hundred. Ooh. I'll find a better one later. That should be a platinum discovery. photo. Nice work. Or not. Just gold. This is a good shot of hoop hoop. A new discovery. Nice work. <laughs> uh not platinum. Slightly off center. A new discovery. Nice work. Platinum though. Would have been higher if it was centered. Looks like hitting 4,000 score gives you platinum stars, as long as it's 4,000. Mm. Looks like you've got the hang of uh, nighttime research. Keep the good work. Profile icon. Ah. By the way, thanks to the progress you made in your research, I got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'd be pleased to hear this. The photos are kind of meh. Uh, the star rating is basically your score. As long as it's 4,000, you get platinum. 3,000 is gold. Intriguing. Oh, it's voice. <laughs> Something incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. Okay, one line was lost. <laughs> Here's the thing. When you go, uh, got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also, it, the source seemed to be moving too, if only slightly. It's just we've uh, what we've got here is an Illuminati Pokemon. Mm -hmm. We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. Wonder why it showed up. Uh, did you uh, do anything special? I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. I think you should be the one to uh, investigate the area where the reading is coming from. What? Hey, I want to go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. All right. Head out as soon as you're ready. Let's go Illuminati spot in the nature park. So this this is just like the tutorial uh, area. There's gonna be other areas to explore. Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. 
Do you see or hear anything? I don't know why Nintendo games are rarely voiced. It seems to be how they how they do their games. Is that Bulbasaur? No, oh my God, it's uh, whatever the hell that thing is. Gainium. Quick, get its picture. Do, do, do. Hey, tur sir. Could you look at me, sir? What's it doing? So it's eating that flower and then going crazy. You gotta look at me, sir. Look at me. Blah, 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 blah. He is majestic. He's going to eat that. I'm not sure if they want the whole guy in there or just his face. Uh, we don't have any abilities just yet. Um, I'm sure those will unlock over time. They're giving us more abilities as we go. Okay, this guy, this thing is like eating all the flowers. Hey! Oh, hi! Looks right at me. And off it goes. The energy reading He's like, on. oh, hi! Let's <laughs> chat when you get back. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, we've got to discuss. Uh, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Meganium. All right, let's see. We have a three star in here somewhere. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, flowers! Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> Which one's the three star? It says there's a three star, but I did not see it. I can't show that to him? Weird. They locked some of my photos out. Looks like Dan Gachi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It got uh Finite Cash was at the right moment. Remember the closer the Pokemon look directly at the camera, the better you'll score in the direction. <laughs> uh that's funny. Well, we gotta get, um, we need to, um, get better anyways. It'll be fine. All right. Another step forward uh, for our research. Um, I bet Pokemon are getting comfortable with you. 
score a thousand points in the pose category during a photo evaluation. Register Illuminati Pokemon. <laughs> Get him in your Pokemon. <laughs> your decks. You've got the filter. Uh, cell shaded. Ah. By the way, now that we've got the Lumina, Lumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away, I think. You'll be pleased to hear this. <laughs> hey! That's some good flowers. He's like, mmm. Yeah, well, won't you do multiple star categories at once, unfortunately? You're back. Uh -huh. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? Wasn't it say saying something? Rita. You said Rita, take a deep breath. <gasps> Look who's talking. You're practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> uh, moving on. No doubt about it, the Mag uh, Mag Maganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly save Lintel from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes. Also, Illumina Pokemon uh, were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. <laughs> Like our new friend. Right. Yes, to the letter. Convinced that events in those legends really did happen. Discovering the true history of the region could be the key that opens up all our research. Oh. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you wanted to mention, Professor? That's right, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation here tomorrow. Hey, Bader, thanks for that resub of 38 months. Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? Now, as Rita's already told you, here's the thing. I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found Illumina Pokemon. Huh? You think they're a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But. but fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Uh, you just use the capture card to uh, stream from the Switch. I'm not streaming from the Switch. I'm putting the Switch into a capture card and then uh, playing on the TV. And then you guys see what's on the capture card. Well, you know, maybe. Jeez. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. But... <laughs> That'll be way more fun with you for with right. you along. Well, there you have it. Ready for officially join a research team? Hell to the yeah. Well? Hmm? Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's like you were born to wear it. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Hmm. Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Huh? Oh, come on. Just a little bit longer, right? Promise worth the wait. Right. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. I looked awfully like a gym badge. I officially joined the Lentil Region Research Team. Got the team badge. Officially joined the Lentil... Another team badge. 